And now we're going to cross to Miami, Florida, where the three guys who created all of this Saturday night fever and staying alive madness are waiting to talk with us. So would you welcome back to Australia, please, Barry, Robin, and Morris, the Bee Gees. Yeah. <laughs> only by satellite. Welcome back to Australia, boys. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. You got, can I just throw a question at you very quickly? Uh, Miami is your home now, all three of you. Is that right? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. Yeah, that's well, right. Why, why Miami, that's Barry? Right. Uh, well, um, I, I can't really speak for Morris and Robin, but, but uh, I personally moved to Miami because I liked that the sunshine was very much like Australia, and to me it was very much like surface paradise and, uh, and Brisbane, and I like that climate, and I have a lot of good memories of living in those places. So that was, uh, that's really what I was looking for, but we all have our own reasons for being here, you know. Robin, why are you in Miami? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think I just came here, and... Uh, I, I, I got a house here and, and stayed here, and I, and I can hear a car. <laughs> it's all right, it's gone. It's, it's something to do. It's in the high atmosphere, 15,000 miles. Funny business. But anyway, <laughs> probably uh, an yeah, I just came here. Probably, <laughs> right, it could be a hijack. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> the, the, uh, yeah, I, I came here. We record here. We have our studios here. We recorded here for about the last five or six years, and I think it's important to, to live where you work. Mm -hmm. Morris. Yes. <laughs> Where do you live here? <laughs> I thought I'd push that one. Am I next? <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. There you are. Well, it's, yeah, mine's, mine's pretty similar to Barry's. I like the weather. It's, uh, and also the studios when we first came here were great. But uh, now it's sort of like really comfortable with the weather and the kids love it here. It's very similar to Australia. That's why I like it. We just, uh, we just had a look at the, um, at the premiere of uh, Staying Alive, of course. Uh, Barry, uh, we'll talk about Staying Alive in a minute, but let me talk to you guys once again individually. Uh, individually, you are doing some terrific things on your own, besides the things you do collectively. Uh, Barry, I understand uh, the Oni Warwick album and working with Kenny Rogers as well. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but but uh, I should add that the, uh, the three of us uh, wrote the, uh, Kenny Ro the Kenny Rogers album to come out. It's called Eyes That See in the Dark. We co-wrote the album, and... Uh, and uh, myself and Albie Galutin and Carl Richardson produced it. Mm. What, and uh, that should be out next month. And what about your solo album? How do you do without the other two picking on you all the time? Uh? <laughs> well, my solo album doesn't come out until after Robin. Robin gets the head start. He comes out in the, uh, towards the end of this year. And my solo album comes out next summer. Well, Robin, we'll talk about your album. What, uh, what kind of an album is that you've done, Rob? Uh, well, the album I've got out is, uh, is number one all over Europe at the moment, and it comes out in America at the end of this year, or mid uh, towards the end of this year. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's again something that, I, th that actually Morris co-produced with me and wrote, and uh, it's, 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 something, it's different to, to the type of sound that you would hear on a Bee Gees album, because we didn't want to do something that was the same as the Bee Gees, otherwise the object yeah. would have been ridiculous it wouldn't have been no point in doing it and, and barry's will be the same it's something that it's just it's just a bit of ourselves being brought out in, in, uh, individually yeah morris uh, you're doing a film score or something is that right a gene hackman film well <laughs> it's like this <laughs> oh darn it's it's in the, the negotiations at the moment but uh, actually i've been very busy co-writing with uh, barry and robin for kenny's and also co-writing and producing robin's solo album so i'm I have been working on the score, but at the moment I'm dealing with a very difficult director. So you'll excuse me on that point. <laughs> okay. Uh, tell me about uh, the staying alive thing now. Um, uh, what is it that makes that, that music so special, that Saturday Night Fever music, that staying alive feel? Uh, did you guys uh, well, invent uh, that or put something of your own into that? What do you think it is? Well, first of all, well, the title was ours. Saturday Night Fever was our title, and the music um, was a contributing factor, but you, you've got to remember that it was a John Travolta movie, and it was a lot of contributing factors that, that added up to being a phenomena. Now, mm -hmm. phenomena is something you never predict, nor can you ever expect, and it took everybody by surprise, so I don't think you can really uh, pick what particular element sold the film or made the phenomena, and we're just very yeah. proud to be a part of it. I think the most important aspect of the film itself, of Saturday Night Fever, was the marriage of the movie and music. Because yeah. that, that is very rare when you get a magic formula. The chemistry was right with everybody that involved in it, and hopefully the second time around. There's stories here in the paper of stuff that has been sent to us about you being a bit unhappy about the music and staying alive. Uh, is that true, or, or, or what? 
Uh, we, 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 we don't really want to judge or say anything at this point, but uh, uh, the best way we can answer that is, is that uh, you really have to get Sylvester Stallone on your satellite and ask him what he thinks of the music in the film and where he put it. Uh, our opinion is that if Sylvester Stallone wanted something like he has, he got what he wanted. And I think that you have to ask him about <laughs> any, any, any other points. <laughs> is he there? I have to read something <laughs> oh, into there. that, I think. Right. Sly? <laughs> no, no, he's not. I think, I think that's the only way. It's the only way for us to answer it. Without, I think the way to answer without. it is that uh, Sylvester Stallone directed the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, he has complete control where, uh, exactly. of, of, of all the music. And it's not ours. It's, mm -hmm. it's not even up to the people. We write the music. Yeah. He asked yes. us to write the songs. He phoned us a few times to say, yeah. you know, what he wanted here and there. For in different parts of the music. We gave him the music, that's where our job ends. We, are, we can't go uh, into the scenes and, 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 and you know, no. and do the coordination. Our job ends at the, uh, at the director and Sylvester Stallone. But uh, Sylvester Stallone's uh, brother wrote some music as well for this, did he not? That's oh, you know? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Oh, yeah. Well, yes, as we said, true. if Sylvester was only here, you yes, know, right, right. he's not. <laughs> yes. Well, it certainly explains something about the difference with the music and so forth. There was a, a court case, of course, a highly publicized court case, where some gentleman said that you fellas um, stole some melodies or something from him. And what? He won the first case, but then you won the appeal. Am I following this correctly? Well, yeah, that yeah, ah, we're right, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Fellas, if you're going to talk, appeal, if you're going to talk at the same time, can you do it in harmony? Would that be all right? <laughs> okay. Let me just have one thing. you can. Only, I just want to spring here because there was never a, there was never an appeal. Uh, what we ha what happened to us was that the the judge threw out the decision of the jury. He threw out the case in fact. There was never an appeal by us for a new case because no. it never got that far. Mm -hmm. What happened was the original decision of the jury was cancelled by the same judge on the same court case. He just threw yes. out that case, literally. But, this, but we should go on to say, Don, that this is not the end of, the, of this particular battle. Uh, it would be nice for us to go home and think it's all over, but, but we don't think it is, and we, we get the feeling that the plaintiff will indeed uh, go for an appeal, and it's very possible that the, uh, the judgment could be overturned again. Uh, no indicate the judge Layton, the man who, who sure. threw it out of court, said it's unlikely that they would yeah, get a reversal. Yes, it's I not think, that strong. Yeah, I, I think we're all aware of that. <clears throat> but, did they uh, award? We did, just we fight on. Did they award any figure yeah. to this guy in the first decision? Did they say to him, no, "Look, no, you no, won no. the case"? No, they, they don't. don't. It never even got as far as that. No. Uh, oh, the yeah. actual uh, ruling on the case was a miscarriage of justice from the judge, and it was yeah. automatically cancelled. So no. No decision or any yes. uh, court will be adjourned to assess damages. The judge, the judge overturned the case not based on, um, not based on uh, likeness of the two songs, but based on the fact that there is no way in our lives that we could have ever heard his song. Listen, you three guys look very, very happy. I mean, you look happier than I've ever seen you. You're all sort of zappy as much. Is that last court? Hold on. After that court decision, wouldn't you? Uh, yes, all right. That's because we've got makeup on. <laughs> we've got we makeup also have on. Makeup, makeup, makeup on. on. Yeah. You fellas okay. Okay. were amongst the. Uh, the first Australians to really make their mark overseas, you know, really uh, 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 pound at home about yeah. uh, Australian acts and so forth and so on. With all of the interest that's being shown in Australia at the moment and Australian groups and so forth, is there any desire from you three fellows to want to come back here and work? Uh, not only, okay. I oh, mean... Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah well, yes, it, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. In no question. We yeah. miss the RSLs. <laughs> we miss the RSL clubs and the leagues clubs and everything. <laughs> but, uh, actually, we, we really do, Don, actually. Believe it or not, we really do. What we'll about, what about, about yeah, Vegemite? <laughs> what about Vegemite? Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah. We've got that too, but there here. are many other things. There are menthoids and there are, uh, you know... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Vincent's powders. You know, <laughs> powders. Throaties. Throaties. Right. Well, this is Hallmark advertising. cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> well, the list is endless, but I mean, uh, veg veggies in there. Yeah, right, yeah you got there. it. All right. But, well, if you came back here, oh, yeah. if, you were, if you were to come back here, are you ever going to come back here in concert? Yes. Oh, definitely. Yes. In about a year from now, we plan to do what we term as a world tour, <laughs> but, but it really will be in, a, in the fashion that we will cover Europe. Um, uh, the United Kingdom, the United States, and the Far East, including New Zealand, Australia. Have you? And uh, God, that sounds exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> have you, it does have sound you rather exhausting. I think I'll go for a rest. Though. <laughs> <laughs> have you put any thought into, we'll into? Have you put any thought into what kind of a concert it's going to be? I mean, are you planning it to be something like a big spectacular, or is it going to be? Uh, you fellas with a band or something doing your music? <laughs> no, it'll just be us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sort of I mean, let down, isn't no, it? no Barry Manilow girls with flowing costumes. And, uh, I think that, no, we're going to have the Mormon 
Yeah, I think see quite seriously when you see the Bee Gees on, on concert over there on any concert that, uh, the next time we go on tour it won't be with the big orchestras and things like that it's yeah. going to be the Bee Gees as a band uh -huh. yeah good hard rock and roll, yeah. <laughs> rock and not, roll now. not only that it's very difficult to fit the Mormon Tabernacle Choir on a short 747 I think well, it was a toss-up right. between that and the Vienna Boys. It can be boys. done. It was yeah. done once about 20 years ago. Yeah, it was the Osman concert. <laughs> we've got, I, oddly enough, we've got the Vienna Boys Choir on next. They're well, here say to hello us. to them for me. I certainly will. Say hello to Randy. <laughs> say hello to Harry. All right. Say hello to <laughs> Fellas, listen, yes. thanks a lot. Uh, we're, we're all anxious to see what the, what the outcome is going to be with Staying Alive. I, I, I would just assume that you've done a, a great job, as you always have. Thanks a lot for joining us from Miami, Florida tonight. Stay as happy as you are. You look Thank terrific, guys. Honestly, you, you do. Thank okay. You. The oh, Bee Gees, like everybody. Here we are. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Hold it. <laughs> hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Just a minute. We're going. We are going to have some Cheerios. Are you going to do some Cheerios? Yeah. yeah we'd, like to, we'd like to send our love to all of our friends in Australia, if we could. Yeah. Uh, all the different people who, uh, this, the list is so long that uh, we couldn't name them all individually. We'd like to send our love to our sister Leslie and her family and yeah. Keith and our grandmother, of course, uh, Nana Pass. And all the people Nora. in Redcliffe. <laughs> Nora Pass. <laughs> Stay well, darling, and we'll see you soon. Yeah. Take care. Is that That's it? That's it, Don. All Thank right. you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The Bee Gees. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Staying alive, of course, is going to be released here in a few months. You'll see it. Another hand for the BGs from uh, Miami, Florida. We'll be back. Don't you go away. Yes.